Hi, are you worried about your laptop getting stolen? Oh, not again. Why not make it look like literal trash? So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be making a fully functional cardboard out of laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? No! Oh my god! <laughs> and then we're going to send our trash laptop to Linus Tech Tips and have him judge it. Huh. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. So to make the laptop, we have a collection of secondhand and new laptop components. And I have a general plan on how to put them together with the cardboard. So this is my 3D model. It's not much to look at initially, but watch this. Boom, screen, boom. Electronics tray. A lot of cardboard is really bendy, wonky, and wibbly. It's never really flat, so I was thinking, we have some spare aluminum plate. Could we just stick that in the laptop to make it flat? But then I feel like it's a metal laptop covered in cardboard, right? If it's like, like can we just take an existing laptop and tape cardboard to it? Wouldn't that be like kind of the, the same thing? But there's components. Well, I know there's components. All laptops have components. I feel like it needs to be, like, the structure needs to be cardboard, if we're calling it a cardboard laptop. And, like, we embrace the wonk. We embrace the wibble wobble. Can I keep my metal hinges? We can do metal hinges. I mean, some, obviously some of it will be metal. Okay. But what if it's as much cardboard as physically possible? I'm down to start there and see how it goes. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it'll be structurally sound. Foreshadowing? One thing we do agree on is we don't wanna cut a bunch of cardboard layers by hand. So we're gonna start by laser cutting all the pieces out. So all of these pieces should frame the electronics on the base. Now aligning them might be tricky. How precise except. do we need to be? I'd like to be precise. Okay. So I'm adding these little brass spacers right here into the frame. I already dropped it. I dropped it once. <laughs> you kinda... dropped our cardboard. How dare you? <laughs> it's, little... it's almost as if cardboard isn't meant to be used for anything that's supposed to be structurally sound. I, I dropped it on the tip. So it's an especially vulnerable area. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have these little spacers, Ooh. check this out. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is incredibly satisfying. Wow! So this should go here. You have your ports here. You have your outlet for the fans right there. We'll hot glue this in place probably. <laughs> and then the battery goes right here. And just attaches in right there. You know, there's a little bit of a, a bend going on. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> now, one thing I'm thinking of and second guessing for the USB-C ports. Hello? Oh my God. You almost tipped the light. It's stuck on the light. It's stuck on the light. Stop, stop, stop. For the USB ports, they're kind of stuck in here, recessed. Do you think that's okay? I mean, I'm okay with it. Are you not? Now I could do cutouts here in the base plate. Ideally, that'd be nice. So we cut a new piece to give us better access to the ports, plus a few extra layers to build up some height. But then, Hey, Kaylin. Yeah. No. What's wrong? I have good news and bad news and good news. Okay. <laughs> so, good news. Yes. Look at this. It looks really cool. Wow. You can access the USB ports better. Wow. Look at this height we've built up. Wow. Bad news is, this is gonna overheat completely if we turn it on. There's no, there's no hole here oh. for the fan to work. Uh, and uh, cardboard's flammable. <laughs> but the good news is I caught it before we turn it on and it's, it should be easily fixed. We'll just cut a hole in this, this base plate right here. Just, just right there. Okay. Oh, watch this, look at 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 this. Whoa. Wow, oh, you have outlines? Yeah, I have outlines for when we glue it later. It didn't work perfectly, but there, it works okay. I'll take it. Let's add a hole. Oh, 
I'm a big fan of how this turned out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so legit. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized I, I completely forgot something. A surprise. Oh, it's another cardboard piece. Okay. Another cardboard piece. And then I added little Easter eggs. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you typo my name? <laughs> Do you? Evan and Catherlyn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it's fine. I can, I can be Catrillin. Other than that, it looks great. <laughs> now we're gonna glue with contact cement. Also a low moisture option. Are you leaving? Don't leave me. I still need, I still need your support. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Thank you. You need to mark out where you're gonna put the glue because these don't really line up the best. Oh, they don't. So you etched these, but they're just a little bit off. Okay. <laughs> it's because I didn't I didn't think of everything at the beginning. The next one we make is gonna go a lot smoother. The next one? Yeah, the next cardboard laptop. Because all the orders are gonna come in, right? Oh, we're putting this up for sale. What do you guys think? Do you want it? <laughs> Craft laptops. Artisan. Artis artisanal laptops. Artisanal. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, spaghetti! Oh baby, we're doing it. We're making a cardboard laptop. We're doing it, baby. All right. Awesome, layer one. Yay! How many layers do we have? Like Three more, one, so 45 two, more minutes. Three. Cool. See if it still fits. That would be important. Oh yeah. I don't Snug. even think we need to use hot glue to hold it down. No, that looks great. All right, now let's see if this attaches well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I turned on. Yes. 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 Things are happening. Look at that. That is the base of a laptop. A cardboard laptop. You might be a little sticky after that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of <laughs> nasty. What if I like you like that? <laughs> and now, guys, you're not gonna believe what's gonna happen next. More laser cutting. <laughs> so next it was time to start cutting pieces for the keyboard segment of our laptop. We also had the idea to etch in some custom sticker designs. I'm saying that with quotation marks because they're just laser cut etched. But we wanted to mimic the stickers that sometimes appear on a laptop when you open it next to the keyboard and trackpad. Then it was time to assemble and we started by gluing together some spacer pieces that will raise the keyboard up. Oh shoot, I sprayed the wrong side. Should we cut another? Should we let the glue dry? <laughs> I'll cut another one. Aww. Did you do it again? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you do it again? No. Okay. Now, after all that craziness, the true craziness begins. We're putting together the keyboard piece and you'll notice these are technically cut out. Like if we pushed on these, they would pop yeah, out. I pushed on the B, so the B is barely holding in there. B for barely. Um, Evan has an idea to make assembly a little bit easier. Oh no. So look at how perfectly this keyboard should fit in here. Very precise. But I don't want to stick every single key on here onto here. So my thought was, what if we spray adhesive the whole back of this and attach it all at once? <laughs> you know, after your recent spray adhesive shenanigans. I'll, I know which side to spray it on now, okay? <laughs> okay, um, okay, we're doing it. Ah! If this works, this is a huge step forward. Do you want a second hand to help align it? That seems like it would be smart. Oh, Are you, okay. Okay. So we need to kind of like press down every key. Okay, ready? Oh, it's on there. Are they ever gonna come up again? I don't know, keep going, we're committed. 
Do you think that the... Ooh, so, some are popping back up eventually. Okay. Do you think maybe there should have been like a little bit of space in between the key and the frame between the keys? Yeah, maybe maybe the curve needed to be expanded just a little bit. Can't, would you be able to type on it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry again! I only bought one of these keyboards. Okay, what if I just slam it? Oh no. It looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have stickied this frame. I think another thing that I'm realizing is the keys should stick up from the keyboard. Oh, the entire thing is a little bit off. That power button is a little bit off. They might not have been aligned. Probably should have checked that first. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Oh, oh. my god, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so I can see how close I was. It was so close. It was really close. So what's happening is, since these are a little bit up, and off, the top little bit of this is sticking down. You see that? Yeah. Once they're freed, they're free. What if we so, what, so, what, what, what if we uh, dust a bunch of baby powder and everything that is sticky will get covered in baby powder and then it will no longer be sticky and we'll just have a, a powdery keyboard. It's not the worst idea. We could we could powder it and then we vacuum it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know, I mean, it would probably work. Will it be bad if baby powder gets under your keys? Is it bad? That's what the vacuum's for. Does anyone Very face specific this? questions. This is the AI answer. It's not clear what effect baby powder might have on a keyboard, but baby powder containing talc can be toxic if inhaled or swallowed. We're not inhaling it. That is not what I'm asking. Ooh, can baby powder break a MacBook? Someone's asking. It's not likely to damage a computer unless you clog fans or cooling system. I think it should be okay. <laughs> I should have just done this the simple way. <laughs> I'm regretting my choices. <laughs> I'm regretting my choices. <laughs> oh. Hey, I just wanted to call and let y'all know that we're still coming over. We hit a bit of a cardboard keyboard emergency. We'll put the baby powder on. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Just a little seasoning. <laughs> this is so unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. This is working. This is totally working. This is totally normal. We just bought a new shop back. Time to give it its initiation. I already sucked up the dead lizard, don't ask why. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go. Oh no! 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 Can we retrieve it? Good thing I cleaned out the, <laughs> the lizard. Oh, it's wet. Oh no. Are you, are you drying the wetness off the cardboard? Yeah. What was it wet with? <laughs> 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 Should I plug the monitor in and see if this boots up and works? How much work is that? Really easy. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, did we break it? Install this. Oh, I thought you were going to test it before you install it. I just need to make sure if it works all together. Oh. What an unhinged day. <laughs> Come on, screen. You know, it could be a great time for a dinner break. Maybe a shower. You're really sweaty. <laughs> You're really quite sweaty. And when we make version two of this, it's gonna be so much better. It's turning on! Oh, wait, it did! Yes! Okay, so do you wanna like pull up a word doc to see if all the keys work? Like, is that? The, the, the mouse doesn't work. Oh. I mean, the mouse not working is a pretty big deal. Oh, this is, this is pretty messy, baby. I think it's, it's mainly the misalignment issue. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna order a new keyboard. 
and see if I can fix this. Okay. We learned stuff. We did. And that's... What it's all about. Hi, I'm Carmen Board, inventor of cardboard art, and I'm responsible for pieces such as the Duck of the Eternal, the Feline of Entropy, and of course, my most famous work, Steve. Just listen to this review of my art by world-renowned art critic, Evan. Within this unassuming cardboard, a clandestine narrative unfolds. Each tape creates a whispered secret. I'd like to order a custom piece. What's your website? Uh, uh, give me a second. I know the fastest way of creating and managing my online shop. Today's sponsor, Squarespace. The artist's audacious choice of humble cardboard meticulously assembled with the prison of a cardboard laptop. With Squarespace, you can focus more on your product and image. And less on the boring details, like logistics and managing inventory. The imperfections crease as much as to find perfection. You can buy your domain name and pick a professionally made template from their large catalog. You can even pick and choose from their many extensions created to help you save time. Question the existence itself. <laughs> oh, bravo, my yeah, dear. Yeah, whatever. So here's my website. Oh, yes, yes, yes. To make your business stand out, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin to get 10% off your first purchase. All right, we're back and we've mostly mentally recovered from that trauma. <laughs> we have made a few changes on this next iteration of the keyboard cover. We cut all the way around the keyboard tray, because if you notice here, you see how this is lower than this. Mm -hmm. So then the keys will stick up some. Yes. We also cut twice around the keys to add a bigger gap. That way hopefully there's no friction. We also were able to salvage the keyboard. It has a little bit of powder residue on it, but Hopefully, it'll be fine. And this time, we're gonna try to align it. Yes. Do you want a second hand to help align it? That seems like it would be smart. I think we should start by removing the keys. Are we gonna, we're gonna do all the keys individually. The thing we were trying to like save time on, but then that like caused a whole extra day of work and. Yeah. Yeah. That square is more properly aligned. That looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> now, tedious task of removing all of the keys. Time lapse. Yeah. Oh my God, oh that my is God, incredibly satisfying. Oh, look at how recessed it is down in there. All right, let's do, let's do a fit test. Yes, I think this is it. There's enough wiggle room now There's for them enough to push down. This, 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 this is it, you know, it's all about the learning process <laughs> and finding joy in that. <laughs> oh, did you find, were you joyous yesterday? <laughs> it's all about the process of finding joy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go again. All right, the first piece is down. Do you feel like you are in control? Um, like of my life, like in general? Of the control key. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, I thought you were getting deep for a second. <laughs> that is great. Do you ever w wonder like how this is gonna function in the end? You know what they say about keyboards? They're the window into the soul. I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> it's a very alt statement. Oh my gosh, this is coming together. I can't believe it. I know. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that again? <laughs> so many time lapses. The more time lapses in a video, the more work the video is. <laughs> the more we're like, this is so much work, like we have to speed through it in the edit. Yes. I'm still taking my time. Yes. Yay! Honestly. That's wonderful. It is so cool. It's so satisfying. This has been my favorite part of this build so far, even Heck though yes. it's been the biggest pain. Oh my gosh, we get asked all the time, what's your favorite project you've ever made? And it's always the last one we did. <laughs> and I'm in the middle of this and I'm, I'm already like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, this is, so cool. This is it, so, so cool. cool. It's so cool. <laughs> now, it's gonna start looking like a laptop because we're gonna be building the top section for the screen. Yes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> there you go. It's basically done. It's, it looks complete. As long as you're holding it. So, hinges. I see you have some bits and bobs over here. Yeah, I've been seeing if I could just like buy something and just use it. The problem with these hinges is this one, try to bend this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I found one that like you can't actually bend. Oh. Yeah. This is not bad. But if, if you just slap this down here, what are we gonna connect them to? It's not like you can like screw into cardboard. cardboard. It's so, almost like we would need it to be longer. Okay, I see what you got there. You yeah. took something, you attached, is that laser cut acrylic? It's laser cut acrylic. Now this you can really bend nicely, but like it's so thick. It's really thick, yeah. These have high friction, but still, like th this hinge needs to be offset some. There's no place for cardboard to go on either side. Yeah, I see the conundrum. Like we want a hinge that can have like space between the, the two faces. Posts, yeah. So I could try 3D printing my own custom hinges. I can design it completely custom, but that means I have to design it completely custom. All right, guys, it's time for... Hello? Ender montage. I spent 10 minutes designing this first hinge and it failed. I was crushed. But then I came up with a second design that should allow for the laptop to close correctly. So I loaded up some tan filament that looked cardboard colored and sent my design to the 3D printer. The only downside of this new design was that we needed to recut some of the cardboard pieces to make space for the hinges which meant we also had to disassemble some of our work. But then... All right, guys, it's time for... <laughs> oh, no. It was time to add the hinges. I am pressing down. Lock it in. I am locking it in. <laughs> Unless we make more. <laughs> no more remaking things. Ooh. One of many moment of truths. Is it closing? Is something stuck? What's stuck? Oh my gosh. It's the two metal pieces interfering. Oh. The hinges aren't high enough up. Because of these, which weren't part of the 3D model. Can we cut this it down? Too. We'll do something. <laughs> No, no, no. no. Oh. Is it still not seated all the way? I can pick this. I can, can pick this. <laughs> I can pick this. <laughs> just, just, just close your eyes. Okay. I'm recording you blindly. I'm getting worried. No, don't get worried. It's the chanting under your breath that does it. Everything is gonna be okay. It's not reassuring. Everything is gonna be okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Just open your eyes when you hear the loud noise. Okay. Oh, jeez. We're grinding it. <laughs> this better work. Otherwise. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Oh, also I added the speaker and the Wi-Fi card. <laughs> I was gonna do reveal that later, but you know, whoopsie. <laughs> now how confident am I in this? Third try is the charm. <gasps> yes, 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 oh, yes, oh my God. <gasps> <laughs> it's holding. Uh, now, before we celebrate too much, hit him with the line that we planned earlier. West side. We're gonna do some finishing touches and then we're gonna take it for a test run. How'd I do? You did great. I had forgotten it through all the stress. Okay. Teamwork. We 
we decided to test and rate several crucial criteria for our laptop. And to do so, we took it out into the wild. Test one, durability. How well does it hold up to everyday use? You gotta make sure to not touch the laptop with greasy fingers. We were quite paranoid about getting it wet or dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Three out of 10. Test two, functionality. How well do the keys, trackpad, and hinges work? Look at this functionality. I cannot type, <laughs> but my keyboard and mouse works. Honestly, decent. Seven out of 10. That's pretty good. It's gonna fall. <laughs> Test three, portability. How does the thickness and weight compare to a normal laptop? It's pretty lightweight, but pretty thick. Five out of 10. Test four, conversation starter. Do we make new friends because people want to talk to us about our unique laptop? And, and, oh, it's a unique shirt. Sure. This shirt? Yeah. You can get it at shopevidentgatlin.com. It's like uh, some merch. Cool. Is that a cardboard computer? That is a cardboard computer. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We made it. And nice. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good day, guys. You Thank too. You. Only one person came up to us, but he was lovely. Nine out of 10. Test five, aesthetics. Does it look nice enough for an aesthetic coffee shop photo? It's beautiful, 10 out of 10. Test six, gaming capabilities. Can we be epic gamers using this laptop? Yeah, gamer, pro gamer. <laughs> Technically, we gamed, five out of 10. Test seven, overheating. Is cardboard good for heat management? It certainly is good at insulating the user from heat, but does that increase internal temperature? I honestly don't know. Five out of 10? Test eight, camouflage. Does it blend in with a pile of boxes? I don't see any laptop. 10 out of 10. Test nine, pet appeal. Does it appeal to our supervisor, Jupe? She likes it. Oh no, oh no. It gained head rubs, but she did not sit on it. So seven out of 10. With our test complete, it was time to send it to Linus to get his reaction. I have no idea what to expect. Dear Linus, please check out our laptop and let us know what you think. It was made with love and several sheets of cardboard. Please enjoy this bride gift of handmade keycaps. Wow, is this made of stone? Concrete? What do you guys not do? <laughs> so cool. I'm gonna put it right there alongside our LTT precision screwdriver. Huh. It contains cat hair and cardboard dust. <laughs> on the underside, we've got an intake. IO on the side, you can mostly access it without getting a paper cut. <laughs> Same goes for the other side. They cheated a little. That's a 3D printed hinge, not a cardboard hinge. But you know what, I'll allow it. Uh, okay. Maybe should have cheated a little more on the hinge. <laughs> Does it just, oh, okay, okay, no, no, it, yeah, it, that, that opens at a reasonable angle. <gasps> the keyboard is cardboard? Okay, I take back any criticism about the hinge. That is extra. Uh-oh. Oh no. Does it have a battery in it? It does have a battery we can, in it. We can at least get a peek inside. <laughs> I didn't think he'd open it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. No. You can see the battery here, but the Wi Fi adapter is just held in by the top being closed on it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna plug it in. Maybe it got discharged during shipping. Uh oh. <laughs> what if the battery got disconnected in shipping? <laughs> what if what if you can't turn it on? I didn't do anything. You, I was on camera for every time I touched it. It's got a light. It's fan spinning. Good fan girl. <laughs> quality, quality craftsmanship. Hey, there we go. Ooh, cardboard computing. Oh, I love the desktop background. 
a man and lady of culture, I see. Oh god. Uh, hmm. The keyboard may be more cosmetic? Oh, interesting. Is, is, is one of the keys being held down? Uh-huh. I wonder if it's all the baby powder. I think something's being held down. Yes. Okay. So I'm on the I'm on the internet. I'm cardboard computing. Here we go. Uh oh, I logged out. <laughs> this may be the single worst computer I have ever used, but it is the best cardboard computer that I have ever used. This is such a because we can project, you guys. Like I just Typing is well, it's the best cardboard keyboard that I've ever used. Okay, is there a cardboard themed web game? Anything, boxing games. You know what, I'll settle for that. Twoplayergames.org Hey, the speakers still work. <laughs> they don't sound great, but they work. You know what, they are the best cardboard speakers that I have ever heard. Oh yeah. What? just happened? Boom. Boom! Got him! I'm a cardboard hero. Let's go. Oh! Boom! Headshot! Gamer, pro gamer. No! Oh, I was so close! Oh. The lid close <laughs> sensor doesn't work anymore. Oh no. Good effort, oh, no. though. I do... I do worry a little bit about the durability though. I mean, I know Frameworks whole thing is that you can buy replacement parts and you can repair it for yourself, but it just seems like they're kind of inviting issues. Like, you know, like it would bend pretty easily like that, you know? Uh, is joke, is joke. They, that's, that's not the actual one they sent. Uh, they sent an extra shell. See, we did a little swap room movie magic. Thanks for sending this, you guys. This is absolutely Freaking amazing. Uh, subscribe to Evan and Caitlin. Did, did that sell? Oh yeah, you look like this. I mean, I had to hit it pretty hard. It's like freaking 10 layers of corrugated cardboard. It's non-trivial. <laughs> I, I tried to blink with both my eyes, and it, like one after the other. <laughs>